What is up YouTube, boys and girls? Russ Navarro here, coming to you from my attic uh, in my shop. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you what I was up to. I know I haven't done any videos in a while. Um, I've been kind of busy on my shop. Uh, I'll show you. I've been, uh, I got me a mini split put in um, for heat and air and the shop, when I built the shop, I never did have it insulated. Uh, so I'm in the process of insulating it myself. Um, I really didn't put a moisture barrier, but I used the Rockwood or Rockwell uh, in the walls. It's uh, It works with 15-inch uh, centers, I believe. So I had to do some... Uh, custom stuff in the walls and things but up top here i got some of this insulation and i'll turn it around and show you um and i just been breaking it up uh you're supposed to blow it in but um you know when i get the money i would buy a bag or two uh about eight bags the other day and that's what i'm in the process of doing so let me turn you around give you an idea and we'll just go from there this is the attic and I'm putting it up here pretty thick. Uh, I believe so far I've used 16 or 20 bags and, and you can see there's the bags there. It comes in these chunks, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I have never used this type of insulation but from what I'm seeing with this metal building, it's working really well. It's helped uh, cut down the coolness when I, they first put it in. I was kind of dubious of, you know, did I waste my money on it? But once I've got this insulation in here, uh, as you can see, um, you know, I've coated it pretty good i've got some back over in this corner that i got from my previous job uh it's just uh roll out insulation it was for the this type of stuff you were supposed to roll it over the the uh, building before and we took some stuff out and i just got a bunch of that and that's what the whole back section back there is. I don't know if I'll do any more with that because it's pretty thick back there. And it's been opened and there's dust and stuff. So I, I think I'm just going to leave it alone. But this overall has turned out quite well. That's the old stove pipe. I'd need to get it out of here. I'm kind of glad I took it out. Uh, I've noticed where it was. Um... It was leaking around the roof and I caught it before it uh, started rotting the uh, two by fours and, and, and the rafters. And you can see it's a, just a regular metal building. Um, but overall, I think it's gonna work out quite well. Uh, I'll take you down uh, stairs here in a minute and show you what I've done down there. I don't know if you can see back in here, that's the Rockwell insulation that I shoved up through. And that way this stuff don't, uh, it'll fill the voids and things in that wall. And I've been taking an old rake. I don't know if you can see that corner back there. It's a lot better. You know, I've got it up against that Rockwell insulation and it's, it's helping keep it. And so far I haven't had any trouble with, uh, you know, it, it falling back down in, and, and uh, it, it's fairly thick. Um, I'm a real true believer in the Rockwell insulation, if you, you get a chance to get some of that. And this stuff here is fairly easy to work with also. Um, you know, it, it's, I don't know if you can see, but I've got a beam in the shop, and I've got this wood frame that I've got that beam attached to and then it, there's lag bolts and things going up through it and it's welded down there but that was just one of the things I had to kind of work around. Uh, I had an old light up here um, throwing this stuff around I ended up knocking it loose I didn't have it up very well so 
that's why that's laying there. Um, but overall, I think it's turned out quite well. And like I said, I'll take you down stairs and uh, we'll just go from there. And you can see how I've got it built up in the corners and things. But let me turn you around, shut you off for a minute. I'll take you downstairs and kind of show you what I've been doing. Um, the shop's a mess, so you'll have to forgive it. Um, I've been working on this for about a month now. Uh, with one day off a week, it just, you know, it don't go very fast. Um, and I'm getting up there in years, and uh, it's, it's, it's showing. <laughs> I'm a little bit slow, but uh, like I said, I haven't blowed any of this in. I've just been breaking it up with my hands and I think it's worked quite well. Colors a sheet. Um, a lot of the sheets and stuff. Uh, when I built the shop I didn't have a whole lot of money so I talked to a lot of the builders around me and I cobbled in uh, spots where um, you know some of the builders had roofing, uh, OSB, and just different things, and I kind of scavenged the uh, the product just to get the shop done w when I had built the shop. But let me turn you around here, and I'll kind of explain a little bit. This area is a disaster, but this is all new. Um, I redone this whole, there was a shelf there at one time, I redone all the SB2 all the way down to the new mini split. I don't know if you can see the mini split there. This is all old stuff that I scavenged in. Um, they had already put the mini split in. I got it insulated, so I just kind of left it at that. And then I went on down through here. And I wanted a bench for my... Uh, bench sander and the vise and all my stuff and like I said I just kind of threw it all in there I bought some pegboard material kind of threw it up there um, but it is overall insulated I mean it, it's really well this I don't know if you can tell this is all new um, some of that I had to scavenge or cut uh, the OSB, I hated to do it that way, but rather than take all the old stuff down that I stapled, I just kind of scabbed it in. Um, there's a piece there that I had to scab in. It's not all the way. The weight of the insulation is kind of pushing it down there, so I need to get some more screws, and I don't know if you can see it right in there, too. But this whole wall here is all new, all the way across. It's got all new OSB. Uh, I had to take all that stuff off. The old stuff was just, a lot of it was scavenged uh, pieces, uh, half pieces, uh, triangle pieces off of roofs. Uh, it just didn't look right. I wasn't happy with it, and I had to do it anyway, pull it all off. So, you know, it kind of made the shop a mess. Uh, it, it's just one of them things when you're working in a shop and then you decide to go do something like this, it uh, overwhelms you. Um, and this shop has been, you know, my car has never set out for a month or so, but um, it's just one of them things. Uh, this whole wall back here, I don't know if you can see it, that's all new. Um... I got some stuff on sale. These sheets here were, um, I think they were $14, and I'm glad I bought four of them when I did because I went back to get a few more, and they were gone. Uh, they discontinued them. The gentleman's telling me uh, they went to a different type. Uh, I guess it just wasn't selling or something. Uh, put the new ceiling fan in. That's a new wall there also on that side. This is all new. Uh, double insulated between the paint room and the shop. Uh, I think that's where a lot of my cold air was coming in. And that, um, 
and I'm going to take you and show you in the paint room the uh, the rock wool insulation. I am really a true believer in this stuff. Uh, if you get a chance to get you some, uh, if you've got a shop or something that you need to insulate, uh, you can tell the big difference between, you know, this stuff and I'll show you how thick it is. This is the insulation here, but as you can see, you know, it's fairly thick. Um, it's water resistant. Uh, you can get it wet. Um, water will pretty much run off of it. Um, it, it, it just, I, I'm really impressed with it. Um, you know, I done, the insulation in here is not quite done as you can see um but you could see it's fitting in between the two by fours and stuff i went all the way up but i just kind of wanted to share that with you guys you know if you're wanting to do your mini split or something like that um don't be afraid to try it yourself you know do what you you have to do uh sorry my thumb is in the way um you know, like I said, this has taken me almost two months uh, just buying stuff, uh, you know, kind of rearranging my shop. Like I said, it, it's still a disaster. I'm getting a, a handle on it a little bit, but I've got tin. I've got stuff just laying everywhere, and I really need to be working on the rat rod, but I wanted it to where this summer when I want to work on the car at night or whatever I can come out here and run the air or if it's a little cool outside I can turn the, the mini split on and it warm it. It's a little chilly tonight and uh, I've got it at 78 degrees and uh, it, you know it, it, it's fairly nice in here. Um, I'll turn you around and show you the, the wall again. This wall turned out really good. Um, bought me a cheap TV to put out here, something to, to watch my different programs. Um, you know, I watch a lot of uh, custom, like half-assed customs and um, just different uh, things. And it's nice to have that out here and the fan to help circulate it. But overall, it's turned out really well. This is all new here. I had to replace all of that. It was uh, not there. I, at one time, had the wood stove in this area and in another area. And I'm just so glad I took it out because um, it, it was just a hassle getting the wood, cutting the wood. Uh, I'm, like I said, I'm getting up there in years. Trip over everything here. I'm getting up there in years, and it's just one of them things that, you know, um, the mini split, I think, uh, is going to work out quite well. I was hesitant, um, you know, I really didn't want to do it myself. I hired it done. Um, I probably could have got somebody to help me uh, put it in and that, but... It's done. It's over with. Um, I spent a little more than I wanted to on that. But I think I saved uh, doing the insulation and stuff by myself uh, in the long run. Um, you know, the main thing was the labor getting it up there and, um, you know, putting it up there a bag at a time. It probably had been easier to blow it in, but it was just me. So... Uh, you know, I don't have a whole lot of time to uh, do this. And with that, I can do a bag at a time when it's colder or cooler outside. I can get up in the attic and open up a bag and throw it around and it works. But I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys. Don't be afraid to do some of this stuff on your own. Um, you know... If you've got a shop and, and you want to spend a little money, uh, get you a little mini split, put it in there, uh, insulate it really well. This 
has really helped my shop. Um, I'm happy that I can come out here at night, even if it's a couple hours a night, and do just small things. Um, I think that's all I have for you in this video. Sorry, I haven't been doing a whole lot of videos here lately. It's just I've uh, been so busy and working on this project. I thought about doing more with it, uh, bringing you guys along, but it, it just... Um, it takes a lot of time uh, and uh, setting up and editing and things like that. Uh, I just didn't want to spend the time. Uh, like I said, it, the, the shop's a disaster. So, Hey, what's up, guys? It's the next day. Um, I know I was showing you uh, some of my shop, what I was doing and things. Um with the shop and that and I just wanted to go into uh, just a little um, deal on the rat rod project uh, I didn't mention I talked with a gentleman that I originally bought the frame from and we got talking and uh, <clears throat> I had bought some stuff from him and he was nice enough to bring it over to me he lives up towards Eureka Springs and that, and I just, you know, with my short hours and things, um, we kind of worked it out to where he'd bring it to me. And I just kind of wanted to show you guys um, and thank the car community for such uh, loyalty and such good people with the uh, car community. And, uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. This is some of the stuff that I'd got from him. Uh, the dash. Uh, I've been wanting that for quite a while from him. And let me turn around here so you can see it a little better. Put it the right way. We just unloaded the stuff. And if you was to go buy this stuff, I guarantee uh, I'm not going to go into prices or anything. But I think I got a heck of a deal on it. And I'm going to take you over and show you uh, some of the uh, front end parts and things that, you know, I think it's going to be quite well used in that. And if you was to go buy all of this stuff, you would spend a lot of money to, um, and this can all be redone. Uh, I'm going to cut this wishbone up in here and uh, put bums in there. What's up, guys? I just wanted to finish this video off. Um, it's been another day. Um, show you the A-frame. I really should be working on the shop. But last night, I decided to uh, go ahead and start taking the uh, front end apart. And I just kind of want to show you what I got done. And we'll end up this video and just go from there. You'll have to excuse the mess. Um, I went ahead and took down the uh, frame been kind of cleaning it right in there uh in the process of pushing these out uh like i said i took it all apart i've got the wishbone over there i'm gonna cut it uh and try to if it'll focus for me uh i'm gonna try to uh when i cut this i'm gonna put new bums in there and that and uh it won't be a wishbone anymore. Uh, I just kind of wanted you to see the process a little bit. Uh, I had to heat these up. I had my torch a little. It's been a while since I've used the rosebud for my torch. And I kind of got it a little too hot there. Hopefully that will clean up. Uh, it didn't hurt the 
the frame that much and I'm hoping that's the back side of the uh, frame part of it uh, for the front um, these I'm in the process I'm making a tool at work because uh, my uh, deals that fit in my air hammer aren't uh, it, this part here it's uh, it just won't fit around this so i'm going to make me a special tool and then i'm going to try to heat this up in here and then drive this down with my air hammer um it's just it's a long drawn out process and between doing the shop and doing this um you know i probably should finish the shop up but i was kind of excited i've been waiting for this stuff for a little while and i just kind of changed midstream uh like I said, I don't have a whole lot of time, so each night I come out here and do a little bit. Um, I want to get the shop back uh, into where I can at least be using it a little bit better, not tripping over everything right now. It just looks like a total disaster. Um, that's all I have for you. I'm sure this video's been a long video for you. I appreciate everybody that has uh, shared my videos and that and all the subscribers I have. Um, you know, it, it just, it, it takes me a long time or longer than others. And I'm just going to keep plugging along and hopefully you guys will uh, come along for the ride. And I appreciate everybody. Uh, I'm going to end the video here. Like, share, comment subscribe and we will see you in the next video.